introduce the band to you over here. The Shredder, Mr. Jeff Schroeder. Bass guitar, this is Nicole Fiorentina. <laughs> Thanks again for coming to see us tonight. Now, I've been in this band. Somewhere for like 24 and a half years, somewhere around there. Jeff, even when I wasn't in the band, the fans wouldn't let me not be in the band. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Oh, thank you. I agree with them. I got a lot of, dude, what's up with the pumpkins? I got a lot of that. Did you know I'm in a professional wrestling now? Did you know that? <laughs> yes, sir. I have a company that I'm involved with in Chicago called Resistance Pro Wrestling. That's honest. I know we have some wrestling fans in Canada. Cues, though. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> but we love him anyway. I know you, you're a fan of wrestling, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, she's not a fan of wrestling. I support you, though, in Resistance Pro. Appreciate that. There you go. <laughs> Is everyone going to have a safe, fun Halloween? Do you celebrate Halloween in Canada? Is it Halloween? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, we're going to be... We're going to be spiders in New York City on Halloween. Some bands get bras, we get spiders. We do tend to get pure fans at our shows. Should we continue on or should we just stop here while we're at it? Let me say a little something before we continue. No, you cannot fuck me in the ass later, mister. I'm sorry. I know those of you with gall blood can be into that kind of stuff. But that's not my thing. Now, sometimes when I do interviews, I use the I, I use the we, because sometimes it's hard to differentiate myself from the band, sometimes we're one organism, sometimes I'm one mind. And I may be speaking for myself. I'm known for my honesty, which is usually a bad thing. It's got me in a lot of trouble. I've had some YouTube clips. Oh yeah, oh yeah, those YouTube clips. But I, I want to say that I think this is the best audience we've had on our tour. Uh, that's actually true. That's no bullshit. Do you agree? I agree 150%. Absolutely. So I say that with all sincerity, thank you for making us feel so welcome tonight. Thank you. There are those nights 
There are those nights where the audience isn't totally into what we're doing. I won't name any other Canadian. I won't name any other Canadian cities. There may have been one. Or American. Or American. So it's really nice that you make us feel so welcome. You give us hope. Make us want to continue. So on that note, that optimistic note, I'd like to play a sad song. That's normally how I deal with positive things in my life, I write a sad song. So I wrote this song for my daddy, Bill Corgan Sr. I do have a father, believe it or not. <laughs> I've been accused of coming out of a test tube. Um, Gene spliced between a Canadian maple leaf and a spermatozoa. Why would you boo a Canadian maple leaf? I don't know. Yeah, the Toronto maple leaf. Huh? This is the fucking Canadians play right here. You're a big hockey guy, this is legit. He's a big hockey guy. I wasn't talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs, I was talking about the Maple Leafs of Canada. Hey. <laughs> you can boo me all you want. Did recently somebody steal a bunch of maple syrup? And that was a headline, right? Only in fucking Canada is there a headline about stolen maple syrup. Yeah! At least in my city it's about murder, gun death, prostitution. See, they don't need prostitutes in Canada. Because everybody just makes love all the time. No need for prostitutes. Everyone just, you just go up to somebody and say, hey, hey, want to go? Right? Want to go? They drop the gloves and they go for it. That's how they do it here in Canada. Right?